Hey guys, I'm just making another quick video. Um, so a moment ago, I made a video about installing a Wazoo server. Uh, I was not able to get Windows 10 to cooperate with me at the times uh, because I guess VMware Tools was screwing up. But anyway, so I reinstalled VMware Tools on this Windows 10 box here, and I'm going to quickly go through with you and show you how to add a Wazoo agent onto Windows 10 and then add Windows 10 with the Wazoo agent to the server. All right, so what you're going to do. Is Again, make sure you're on the same subnet so that you can see the server whatever, with whatever LAN you're on. So go ahead and open up Firefox or your preferred web browser and make sure you're connected to the internet, obviously. But, um, wait for this to open up. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and navigate to the Wazoo website. You can do documentation to skip ahead. And do 312. Make sure you're on 312 again. So go ahead and click on that link. And then you're going to go ahead and go down to installation guide. And then right here it says where it says installing Wazoo agent down arrow and then windows. And then hit the from package. All right. So here you can do the command line or PowerShell. So we're, we are going to end up using PowerShell in a moment. But what we're going, we're going to first is um, hit windows installer. And that's going to download the MSI for you. All right, and once that happens, go ahead and open that and run that MSI package. This VM has only got like four gigs of RAM on it, so it's not overly fast. All right, so you're going to run that package, and then you're going to hit accept terms and install. And, of course, run through Windows way of installing a package. All right, then hit make sure you check off run agent configuration interface. Yes, again. All right, so from here you can go ahead and exit out of the website and then exit out of the window or whatever bo uh, window you had with the download file. It. So from here, it's important to follow it exactly. So hit view, view config, and then right here it'll say client server address. Go ahead and change this to your server, the Wazoo server address you made earlier 10 0 100, 100 .105. And then make sure you go up to the file and click on save so this will actually save the file where it sits on the uh, computer. And hit exit and then you can hit refresh here uh, just to have the manager IP come up but we're not done just yet. So from here you're going to open up a PowerShell window and make sure whenever you do this you right click and hit run as administrator. That's very important. And hit yes. Alright so you can drag this box over here and then let PowerShell come up. And one thing I like about PowerShell now is that you can use the forward slash and it doesn't it doesn't uh, argue with you about it. So do a CD C colon uh, forward slash we'll call it uh, and then type in pro and I tab it out to the folder I want to go to. So we're going to the x86 folder. Do CD again and then type in OSS with the tab key. It'll take you to OSEC agent. All right. So from here you can hit AG and then hit tab. Okay. Do AGE. Well, I almost okay. So that's just being slow. So agent auth dot exe, and then minus m or minus m for manager, and then do a ten dot zero dot one hundred dot one hundred five, or this would be your address, not mine. So from here, you can you can if you have authentication on it, you you would do a space tac capital P space, and then put your print your um, authentication password in parentheses. We don't have that yet, so we're just leaving it like this. So from here, you hit enter, and it's going to go through this little cycle. It's pretty quick, and all it's doing is going in there, grabbing grabbing a key, and then validating and then closing out. So you're done right here. Come over back to the box and hit refresh. Here's your authentication key that it grabbed for you. Go to manage, quick restart, and it's going to say agent restarted. Uh, you can hit save if you want to exit out both of these. Alright, so from here we're going to navigate back to our server. So I'm bringing up the same server I had before and I'm going to hit the CentOS box. I'm managing from the CentOS box. So we're going to open this up, type in the password. Alright, so we go to agents. It hasn't been refreshed yet. Alright, so here we go. We have active, active clients is 2 and your my last registered agent is Windows 10.01. Alright, so all you gotta do is click on that and it's, it's already in there, but if you want to, you can 
browse around in here so again it's showing you everything that it does for any agent but um but yeah so you have security events you can look at and under under specific sections it, you can just tap uh, that well I don't call these tabs but there's just different sections you can click over to so here's everything that is looking at in the last 24 hours and that's another thing you can look at last 15 minutes 30 minutes hour 24 whatever whatever time frame you want to look at so this right here, we're just looking at the security events. You can scroll down and, and look at all this. Um, it's even got top five TCI DSS com, uh, requirements. And then you have your alert summaries and your groups summary. And the other thing that I was uh, wanting to show you guys is the integrity monitoring. Okay, so there's nothing going on right now. So there haven't, hasn't been any files changed in the last like you know two minutes we've had this thing on here. But what this will show you is if files have been added, modified, or deleted. So that will show you that there, and then you can look at the inventory data as well, the next next one over. This shows you all your network ports that are open. It shows you all your network interfaces. So this is excellent for having an insight on what, whatever, whatever devices you have on your network. Excellent insight for this. Scroll down, it shows you your network settings, you know, what's your IP address, net mask, you know, what, which uh, protocol it's running. And then you can also see your Windows updates. So a lot of good stuff. This is one, one of the biggest reasons why I like it. Uh, it'll, it'll eventually show you, start showing you packages and it shows you all the processes it's running. So again, excellent insight on, on whatever device you have loaded on here. So, uh, but yeah guys, that's basically it. So I wanted to add the Windows 10 video into this because uh, I just got done doing the server and I was having the VMware tools issue, so it, it didn't let me see my mouse. But anyway, I hope this is helpful guys. Please uh, like this, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos, and I'm going to continue making videos, continue to, to try to help people out the best I can. So uh, thanks guys and y'all have a good one.